the next step that I gotta do is take these roof pieces. What? <laughs> I'm fl I'm vlogging. Chris is like, where's my phone? I need a phone. I'm sorry, I was vlogging. Two seconds. As I was saying, I'm taking these roof pieces and I'm gonna paint them. So I have the first piece down and I'm just gonna roll it white. And then I want some parts of it to crackle. So I'm just gonna do the whole thing white underneath. And then in the patches where I want crackle, I'm gonna go back with brown, paint brown patches, then crackle, and then put white over it, and then it'll be there. But I don't need to crackle the whole thing because that would be super expensive. And I've already spent so much time crackling. Um, I really just want to get this finished. So um, I still think it'll look really good. And plus, since the sun isn't beating the underside of the roof, I think it'll be okay. I think it'll look good. So we'll definitely try it with this piece and see how it turns out. And uh, I'll show you guys and we'll see if we continue doing it with these pieces up there or if I have a new plan. Chris is pretty awesome. Just moved some of my trees and plants from this portion right here into the other side of the yard where my garden has died, unfortunately. <laughs> so we just put the pots on top of the soil over there. Now we can move the first floor, which this is only part of it, not even the full thing, um, over here. And we can start stacking walls right there and then tarp them. And then when we're ready to pull them out front, we can do that. So good job, Chris. We, uh, we looked and looked for lattice that was, you know, chewed up and beat up on the side of the road. Someone was giving away for free, but womp, womp, womp. We never found any. So we yeah. had to uh, suffer the consequences and, and spend some money on some new lattice that I've got to take time and make old. But we are going to cut it down right now, split it in half. This is going to go underneath the porch on the deck. So yeah, so I'm going to mangle it up after Chris cuts me two little strips. I'm going to hold him. Uh, hold him? Yeah, I'm going to hold, hold, me. hold you, baby. I'm going to hold the line. He's going to snap it right in half. I'm going to use a circular saw. All right, circular saw. Where is it? I don't know. I got to find it. You didn't want to pull it out of your pocket? Nope. All right. So uh, yeah, pull. Um, we're gonna do that and I'll start eating it. Woohoo! Alright, so the strips are ripped down and ready for me to age. So I'm gonna do that right now. With just the vinegar and a paintbrush, I stacked them on top of each other. That way, any of the runoff will go to the next one and uh, just trying to be resourceful. All right, so I've got these roof pieces and I painted the whole thing white. And now what I'm doing is I'm going over and making some brown spots. And then I'm going to put glue over them and they're going to crackle and look something like this. And then after that, I'm going to age. So that's the next step. Um, so I'm going to do about, what, 10 of these pieces. And then once I'm done with that, I'll age them and they'll be ready to store and be ready for the roof. Chris just finished making all of these corbels. We had some like this one. This was a shelf bracket and uh, we modified it because we only had eight of them. And then Chris made some, ooh, <laughs> Chris made some uh, right now. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint them all. And I already started painting this one. And then I was like, oh, I better show you. So this is a piece that connects the siding from the second floor to the roof on the top. And all these corbels are on there. And we kind of placed them. A little bit askew as you can see right there this one looks like it's on straight and then uh, a cr crooked a little bit so um, I'm gonna paint this and crackle it and I've got 
all of these to paint. Woohoo! And I think Chris said there's seven pieces, so that's going to keep me busy for a while.